sometimes we need to convert a mixed radical to an entire radical. So here I've got a radical that's already been simplified, but I'm going to switch it back. Essentially, we're going to take the process in reverse. The index is still very important, and in this case, because I've got nothing written in the index slot, I've got an index of 2. This coefficient out front is going to have to go back inside the radical. Now remember, when we were simplifying it, we took out factors in groups the size of the index. So when we put the coefficients back inside the radical, we're going to have to put in the same number as the index. So in this case, my index is 2. I'm going to put two sevens back into the radical. And then our final step is we can multiply all of those factors together. 3 times 7 times 7 is 147. So the entire radical version of this is the square root of 147. There is my entire radical. Let's do one more example. So here I have another mixed radical. My index is 3. Once again, that is a very important part. So when I go to take my coefficient of 2 and put it back inside, I need to put in a group of 3. So three twos go back inside. Let's rewrite that. And to end it all off, we can multiply that all together. I've just converted it back into an entire radical. Just a reminder, don't forget to write the index in.